Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a common issue that many c -sharp developers encounter. Our viewer is trying to add data to a data table within a loop, but they're running into a problem. Let's dive into their question. The viewer's question highlights a specific challenge. They want to add multiple rows to a data table, but their code only works for the first iteration. When they try to add a second row, it doesn't function as expected. Let's break down the code and see what's going wrong. Welcome back to another technical video. We're gonna go through the question, the answer, and I hope that you get the solution. Guys, I hope you stay crazy just a little bit like me and work your way through to getting to that end resolution. Let's get started. To add data to a data table in C-sharp, we need to ensure that we create a new data row for each iteration of our loop. Let's start by reviewing the code you provided. In your current code, you're creating a single data row outside of the loop. This means that you're trying to add the same data row multiple times, which is why it only works for the first iteration. To fix this, we need to move the creation of the data row inside the loop. This way, a new data row is created for each iteration. Let's modify the code. Now with this change, each iteration will create a new data row, allowing you to add different data to the data table successfully. Finally, let's summarize the key points. Always create a new data row inside the loop when adding data to a data table to avoid overwriting the same row. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To add data to a data table, you can use a loop to create new rows. In this example, we create 10 rows, assigning a unique product ID and a calculated product total price for each. Remember, each time you add a new data row, it should contain different data. Avoid adding the same values repeatedly. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. Here's a simple method to add data to a data table. You can use a loop to add multiple rows efficiently. And that's it guys. I hope this video helped find that resolution you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.